Yeah, right? Serious RNG. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, you don't get to interrupt me. Yeah, guy, when don't do any of that uh, sub stuff you do because I don't really need or want subs. So don't go gifting those out to people. I prefer to have a no sub sort of channel. Seriously, it would just be a waste of your money. And welcome. I see you on Cake Stream quite often in the day. Try this again without bad stuff happening. Here we go. Nope, don't use wild blow on me. Okay. I want to go into here. You guys can hit me all you like. Give me some energy. Oh no, he's right behind me. Well, I'm going to lose this dance, whatever. Good while it lasted. I can recast if need be. Three casts of Obsidian Flush. I'd say that's pretty good. And enough energy to do all three of them. Yeah, it, it would honestly just be a waste of money. Um, I'm not trying to be a full time streamer or <laughs> anything like that. Or I, I literally just do this because I like playing the game. I have a fine job and plenty of stuff. No, I, I know what you meant. You good, you good. If you're genuinely interested in what I'm doing and you want to follow, that's cool. But otherwise, no need to sub. <sighs> so. catch aggro here, I'm just basically dead. Which I didn't. We're good, we're good. Definitely gonna lose this stance, but whatever. I don't think I can outrun this burning titan. We'll try though. Oh yeah, I did. Cool. 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 Uh, I actually, yeah. You know what? Let me just recast it. Let's not be stupid. Let's just do the things that we're supposed to do. Come on, break aggro, break aggro, break aggro. All right, we're good. So there should be like nothing left. I think I'm over to uh, the race. Uh, what's interesting about this build is I have no heals. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work out right, but when I had a heal on my bar, I didn't use it. Uh, with the obsidian flesh, I don't really take damage from many casters. Uh, it gives me plus 20 armor in addition to that can't cast on me. The only thing that I have a slight issue with is the uh, Hand of the Titans, um, and the Fist of the Titans. But uh, otherwise it's, uh, it's pretty easy to do what I'm doing, with just uh, sitting in flesh. So I'll wait for this patrol to go back, and then I'll go over here. Don't know if I'll need double obsidian flesh, but I'm gonna run it anyways, because there's no harm in it. It's nice to have if I need, and if I don't, no big deal. Are you kidding? The meteor came out of nowhere again and fucking hit me. That's crazy. I mean, luckily I got my cast off this time, but still. 
getting kind of old. Actually, I just double cast Obsidian Flesh and Wastrel some to death. Let them group up. Stand like right here. Just need full energy. This looks like a good spawn. I don't see any hands yet. I might want to just kill this group first because hands end up coming this way in fists. And I get like a bad one sitting right there. So yeah, once this group goes that way, I'm going to try and aggro these three, because they're probably the hardest three to kill. Just leave these for afterwards. Good, good. Watch my aggro, make sure I don't aggro anything. Oh, I, oh, I didn't cast double wastrels, good. Recast obsidian, keep up the wastrels. That's my last cast, so I hope it kills them all. It did, good. Literally completely broken energy. Takes my full 80 energy, wearing, getting a dual 15 energy set with almost all radiant and all attunement. The only thing I'm missing is one attunement here, one attunement here. And one of two men here, so I'm short six energy. So if an, out of a total max of 86, it requires 80 to do this combo. So I am playing right on the edge of what's necessary, which is pretty crazy. I could change this uh, mantra of flame out. Oops. I could change that out for um, channeling if I needed to, and that would probably help me make the beginning more difficult but it would make this doable if I didn't have those uh those things see so now I'm having a hand be difficult over here which is fine I think I can pull this group like this or maybe like this and avoid the hand whereas that one it's a real pain in the ass because if he's anywhere right here you just you can't go around All right, let's get ready for the next group. All right, so here we go. Good, got all three of them. Wait for them to group up before I cast Wastrels. There, okay. Oof, come on, please, okay. They grouped up, I was worried they wouldn't. Cast obsidian flesh. Yeah, so I'm actually seven energy too much. I could do it without seven energy, if need be. So I could do it with 73. Alright, so now I need to wait for this patrol to go back. Actually, no, I need to wait for it to go this way. So I can run by it. Yeah, so actually I'm, I need to be ready to go shortly. If I am. If I'm not ready, then I'm not going to do it. I'll wait. No point in rushing things. I've gotten pretty far. Oh, he's back on bound. I hope he's uh, going for THK. I'm curious. Not THK. Uh, Thirsty River. Ah, cake doesn't have me added. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. 
But I assume if he's on that character, he's doing Thirsty Roofer. So that's good to see. Just waiting, waiting for this group to come back so I can squeeze by it. Probably run by now with Windborn. Oh wait, I don't like where this hand location is or this one, but I'm gonna squeeze by them. Yeah, it should be fine. Just play it smart, play it right. I didn't realize how big of a inspiration I have. 10 inspiration with one skill of inspiration. Maybe that's improperly traded. Maybe I should be doing something different there. Oof, I didn't cast that with 20% enchant. Alright, but I'm in a good spot. I'm gonna recast it actually. Don't know if that was wise. It means I'm working on a limited amount of energy. Yeah, that, that worked out fine. That was smart. Okay. So I killed these and then I ended up where Rurik is, where uh, I died last time because I was impatient. And then once I kill Rurik, I'm taking over to kill the boss. I mean, pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be too difficult. And if I kill the boss in a decent amount of time, I'm gonna go jump on my ranger. Play that a bit. Who is that? Um, Lion's Arch, I believe. Who's at Beetleton? Who I need to get new armor for? From 30 to 39, or whatever the equivalent is for a ranger. This hand is very annoying, but I think I can work around it. Maybe. So it's these three. That's fine, I can work with this. Just recast this, no rush. Alright, that looks promising. Yep, this looks very promising. Just wait for my energy to finish. Since I need all of it. Cast. Don't aggro the hand, don't aggro the hand. Ugh, don't aggro the hand. I did not, cool. Just watch my aggro, make sure I don't mess that up. And take me to the next area, please. Thank you. Alright. I killed the fist last time. I don't know if I'm going to do that again. I don't think that's necessary. Mmm. Well, I was thinking to myself when I woke up, I was going to take out Chaos Storm and put in Empathy. I think Empathy is a better skill for this part. But I could actually try doing Chaos Storm and seeing how that works. So I'm gonna get full energy and I just wanna try Obsidian Flesh and Chaos Storm and then run away from the sparks. See how that goes. I do have to do a little bit of testing here. So bear with me. this, do this, do this, and run. So 
that took a lot of energy and it brought them down to that. Don't know if it was worth it for that much energy cost. I don't think it was. I can try something similar. And do wastrels. But I need to be in range so that they don't run away. And ready with an interrupt. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. Let's run away. Ooh, taking a fair amount of damage. If I had Mantra Flame up, that would have been good. I would have gotten at least the 10 energy back that I wasted. N not wasted, but used. Come on, come on, come on. Go back. No, they moved. Alright, after run. Rur can hit me like once and that's it. And again, I didn't cast Mantra Flame. Which, I don't know if I want to because now I'm in a limited energy state. Again, it's very frustrating when those things are moving. I need them to stay where they're at. So yeah, it hit me for 130. Yeah, I think I need to restart the whole thing, and this time have Mantra Flame on. And I think I can get better results, and I just need to get three, wast three wastrels off on the sparks. Although, is it greedy to keep trying? Might just be too greedy. My health is pretty low. They move. One moves and the other one didn't. And I didn't get any wastrels off. Yeah, I'm gonna reset. Cause that could be two energy. That could be two energy. I wish I took some of the inspiration, honestly. I don't even know if it would help in Obsidian Flesh. I could have my Wastrels be... No, I can't. So yeah, they're fully healed, which is to be expected. Let's see if I can maybe do this. And then run away. Nope, he gets a Mind Burn on me. That might be a good start. My energy's full, my cooldowns are off, and I did a bit of damage. So, my health's a little low, but I might be able to handle that. So let's try this. You gonna cast Glyph of Lesser? Now you cast Aura. Can I get a second Wastrels off? Yes. Okay, okay. Four energy there, nice. Six energy. Okay, I think this can be a, a win. very precious. I shouldn't be casting into Glyph when I know that he has it. I wasted 8 energy by putting Metro Flame on. I think I should have just left it off and try and kill him. This oh no, don't come back Prince Rurik. Glyph as well. Cast Glyph. Hurry up. Okay, or he's not. Fine, he did. Oh, and I got my interrupts mixed up. Man, let me swap that skill. Reset everything, because I just made a huge blunder. Didn't cost me the game, but I... I'm used to Cry Frustration being my other mouse key. These two buttons here are mouse keys. I mix 
Max him up. So this was a good start, so I'm going to do this again. And then, oh, come on. Let's redo that whole thing. Okay. Cast this while that's recharging. Still at a full energy state, so that's good. Excuse me. Let's do the thing. Let's do the thing that's good. Ooh, it was risky. Okay, but he didn't hit me. Oh, he did. He did for 102. Playing on such low health here. But I have such high energy. Let's swap to my high health set real quick. I like how they're both basically low. I'm gonna try something different real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a chaos storm on him. Don't think that's, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But uh, I have high hopes. They're both low and that one decided to stay. So it might play out okay. And it let me build up some energy or some health actually while not letting them regen too much, so that might have been the play. But it's, uh, it's very challenging. Let's put that on. Let's do this. Oh, he cast a door of restoration. This guy's low, so is my energy. I'm on my high energy set. Maybe just cast Chaos Storm while having this on. I have full health so I can afford to lose some health. Okay, still taking damage. So now I'm back down to half health, so I can't do that again. But I am at full energy now. So let's try some of this other stuff. Okay, Clyde, he casted Aura. That sucks. And I didn't get any energy from those three hits. Would have been six energy. Would have been a negative four gain. Chill there, take the damage, don't move. That might be it, that might be the kill. Oh, so close. So close. He's so far away. Why did he run way down there to come get me? All right, whatever. That was like a no gain at all, just net zero. 
He gained a little bit of health, but I'll, I'll disregard that. Although I did lose energy, because every time I do this, it's less and less energy efficient. Yeah, like, see, I'm not going to be able to cast everything when I want to. It's fine. Let's go into my high energy set to see, to see if I can clinch this. I have to do a third cast. I hope this kills him. Ah, uh, it did not. Maybe I have one more attempt. This is my high energy set, yeah. Then I have to reset. Yeah, because um, it's recharged and I only have six energy. That's not good. Here we go. I should move closer because he's just going to move. No, we cast Cliff. Fuck it. I'm going in. Let's hope I don't die. Swap all of my high health. Alright, cool. Good stuff. Got it. Now I need to get the other one. That only took like 10 minutes. Don't die? Yeah, thanks, Zeb. Thanks, Zeb, Zeb. That would be bad. You know, I died here yesterday. I, I killed one, and then I was fighting the other. And I died because I got too greedy and I said, fuck it, I need to jump in. But this time, I did it and it worked. It's like they don't want to take that last bit of damage. I have to make a bit of a sacrifice. But now I'm playing better with my uh, my armor sets. Uh, swapping between high and low energy sets and high health. So that's... Actually, I shouldn't be swapping my, uh, my chest piece. Because that has a vigor on it in this set. Uh, I think I was just wasting time by swapping those. So in this one, I'm going to... Alright, I have a plan here. It's going to be a good plan. So I'll do that. I want him to cast Mime Blast on me. Now that there's only one of them, I think I can place him. Perfect. That just got diversioned. So he won't cast Mime Blast anymore. So now I don't need Obsidian Flesh to engage him. Because that's his only damage skill. That lasts for 50 seconds. I'll say I did it at 40, so I have until 30 to, to make use of this. Let's just cast two of them and run away. I think I'm still safe. Oh. Oh, and I interrupted that. Good. Okay, now let's go regain my energy and health. Engage him again with a uh, obsidian flesh up. Shit. I'm dead. I moved just a centimeter too far forward, and I think I'm dead. Nope, okay. I'm doing a full reset. Watch a meteor come out of the sky and hit me and kill me. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Hey Zeppi, is Cake still doing thirsty? And if so, has he changed his build yet? I foresee a no. He changed his build. Yeah, no. Nah, it's fine. I don't know if he's ever going to change his build. He said he would last stream. I was very hopeful. I was like, oh, cool, he's going to actually do it. But no.
guess I interrupted it. Yay, fast casting. Now let's not make the same blunder. Let's play it smart. Fuck. At least that wasn't my fault. I have 318 health, I can afford to lose some. Oh, and he cast Glyph less energy anyways, it was a waste of health. No benefit there. Come on, Obsidian Flesh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good. I'm not going to go for the third cast because he's probably just going to cast Glyph of Lesser or something right now. Yeah, see? That spark is so low. Not going to recast Mantra. I'm not going to do it. I'll take the, uh, the negative effects of not recasting it. That should kill him. That should kill him 100%. Oh, not 100%, damn it. All right, he's low though. He's very low. So is my energy though. So is my energy. That should kill him. Got him, nice. Good stuff. I'm going to make it to the boss and I'm probably going to beat the game. That was the only question mark I had. Not bad. I need to be super careful on hands and fists near the boss, but otherwise, I should be good. How do I want to handle that? I need to play on the edge of their aggro range. That's how I want to handle that. Save a bunch of energy. Let's kill Prince Rurik. I'll put my health set on just, just because. I moved to 570 from, what was it, 510? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take some extra precautions. I'll put on my extra high health uh, weapon set. Let's play this smart. Let's add another extra 100 health to us. See if that helps us beat the game. Of, a couple extra energy isn't going to help, I'll tell you that. It's really a, a moot point now. Oh crap, wasted some five energy there. Don't think he uses healing sig, but I don't recall.
guess he doesn't have yelling sick. So I am worried about these guys. I need to play this smart. Let's go with my 20% enchant. Oh no, that's not the weapon thing I want to use. <laughs> I have to play this smart. Immediately cast the wrong skill. <laughs> uh, oh jeez. This is the boss, these guys. We should took some out of inspiration and put it near magic, so I have a bit more increased movement speed. Let's see how this works. Let's figure out where the end of their aggro range is. right here ish that's why I use healing sick it's all good target you so I don't forget you the other one's gonna cast healing sick in a moment because he's low on health yep that's why he paused there for a moment Sick, good stuff. They use um, under blades, makes them a little bit more annoying to deal with, but it uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's just under blades. Let's figure out where the edge of their aggro range is. I suspect the same area. About the same area. Okay. 
little bit different, actually. That's fine. Perfect. Cast Diversion. That should hit him. Excellent. I suspect in about the same area, yep. Uh, did I cast this in time? Nope. That's unfortunate. Means I gotta do it again. fight the lich. I need to use something that uh, does max damage when I wand, which would be this. Because <laughs> I do need to do a fair amount of wanding. Excuse me, got the hiccups. Okay, he's going to cast that. Might as well put on my high energy set now. So you just gotta wait for that to disappear and then you can attack him. Okay, it's gone. Here we go. Spam wastrels. So you can't spam anymore. And then wand him. Good feeling. I'm gonna have Mesmer under my belt as well as part of my solo completion. So I'm gonna make Mesmer, LA, Monk, and Necro. Okay, he teleported. That's not normal, is that? That's not normal. Pretty sure that's not normal. But I have to hit him so he starts spawning those dudes. Okay. It'd be nice if I don't have to kill him three times. Again, just a tight. Mm. 
This is where a domination plus three rune would be very nice. Probably do an extra 15 damage per wastrels. I wonder how ranger and warrior are supposed to do this. Do you think ranger just brings race rolls anyways? Because he could have a hell of a lot of armor versus uh, the beginning. Maybe use Melandry's resistance. Probably just apply poison and kill those uh, those sparks that I had trouble with. What's up with that? It looks like he just leveled up. What a relaxing Friday morning. Well, it's not Friday afternoon, but slept because I'm on vacation. This cane here is very nice. Don't remember having this in my other playthroughs, but I should have. Like I was using a non-max weapon. He teleported again. See, I don't remember him doing teleports before, which makes me think I might just get a one kill sort of kill on him. Just kill him once and be done with it. He's always tell Man, why you ruin my dreams, Evie? Okay, he's not doing the thing. There we go. He has always teleported. Nah. Alright, I'm ready for the long game then. 
Also, no stones are charged. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, I mean, everybody else has had to, and I have had to in my past, so. I know that's probably the case, but a man can dream. Really? Wait, what? What happened on his derv? Confirm with Nyquist real quick. Huh. Was he in melee range? Probably. Yeah, I suspect. That's very interesting. Killed orbs as soon as they spawned. Wait, so you used toolbox to kill them, or he was using AOEs to kill them? Because you can't target them with a toolbox. Yeah. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. I don't recall him teleporting this much. That's the third time he's teleported. I think it's kind of funny that the, the final boss, the whole end game, is this boss does nothing. He does no damage. There's no mechanical skills necessary. You just <clears throat> spam damage at him and back away. Spam damage and back away. Shiro and factions, I struggled with on a on my monk, my all campaign monk. That was challenging. 
this though? I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, I damaged it, but it didn't come after me. Yeah, if you're close enough on what the second kill. But I don't want to get this far and then ruin it because I decided, you know what, let me experiment and move closer to him. And he uses, uh, he wands me to death or something. So, I'll just be another set of data where it says, oh yeah, you gotta kill him three times. It's fine. I'll take the extra 20 minutes to kill him a third time. Slept well. I woke up to my freaking boss messaging me. He knows I'm on vacation. It's annoying. Oh, so close. See where their aggro breaks. Is their aggro ever gonna break? There we go. Okay. I'm starting to get a little concerned there. Diversion to healing sig. Oh shit, I thought he was done chasing me. Ah, I missed that air up. Please don't die here. Jesus. I don't have a heal, I really can't be taking that damage. this be a uh, domination oh I didn't interrupt it wow I'm I don't like the position I'm in okay Please break aggro, please break aggro. Jesus, why is this guy chasing me from the boss room all the way back here? Is that not a little ridiculous?
crazy. Major domination magic. Major domination magic. Their magic. Does it that? But no. Not worth. Uh, before I get started on this guy, let me just grab a cup of water. Oh, is he? He got the ring of fire? Congrats. Uh, what was his build? Did he end up uh, bringing a heal? Pet build, yeah, but did he bring a troll on joint? Because when I saw him the other... No self-heal? Wow, okay. Oh, wow, I need to pay attention. Huh. Well, good on him. What was his final boss? Do you remember? No running, no self-heal. Very well done, Nyquist. Very well done. That is certainly a unique challenge. Pure all damage. Did you even bring an interrupt? I know the pet has like disrupting lunge, right? Ranger was last. You didn't have an issue with uh, him using uh, whirling defense and then having to interrupt his healing well, his healing spring? Because that's the issue I've always had with Rangers, having to make him move out of his healing spring after every time. Or maybe you had an unblockable pet attack, or that would help. That would ensure that you could kill him. Oh, I gotta watch this part. <laughs> Wait, I gotta read that. All I see is my voice in your head. Ranger was last. Had to remember your advice. My mind went blank for five minutes and your voice spoke inside my head. Move the pet. Yeah, you tell it to disengage, right? And then he follows the pet and then he's out of the well at the healing spring. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I wrote that in chat the other day or in a Discord. Well, I'm glad that worked. I've never been able to manage to do that, but that's because the last boss is the only boss that has a very limited aggro range. Very limited. Um, so it's very easy to make that ranger move, um, or that last boss move. But I think if the ranger was any other place, it's going to be very difficult to make that happen. I don't know. I'm, I look forward to watching your VOD. I'm going to definitely watch how you handled the ranger. I'm on a vacation for the next eight days, so shit's going to be good. This is the start of it, just completing this real quick. It was not exciting. So says you. I think it's exciting. I just spent, well, no, I, I have struggled with ROF a lot. It used to be my most hated mission. Now it's Abaddon's mouth. Mm. 
Mesmer was unbeatable. Shake my head, at least on bridge. Um, let me think. Did he? Keep, he probably kept using Ether Feast, I assume. Well, that's why it's so important to bring disrupting shot, in my opinion. But hey, to each their own. Or distracting shot, I should say. Because it let you kill things like uh, Mesmer, if you if you could manage to get that interrupt off. But surely Mesmer would just be easier to fight inside of a uh, a Merset Tower aura, so that your pet's energy gets fully drained. And you just stay out of range, that would be ideal. But yeah, Mesmer on bridge would suck, but you can skip bridge boss. So. Uh, has Necro done this mission already? Yes, my Necro has completed this. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. Abaddon's mouth will be the same. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. You're going to do Abaddon's mouth? With pet? Huh. Sorry, I don't know what CBA means. Can be anything? No running Nortral. I don't know what you do. Monk. You did it as Monk? Oh, okay. Can't be asked. Okay. I know you meant asked. A-S-K-E-D. Right? But Monk with Pet is, yeah, because of a Strength of Honor. You were saying that before. You just let it roll through everything with an extra plus 23 damage per hit, which is ridiculous. If you had an extra 23, I could see why you bring that Ranger skill to increase the attack speed. Sure, that makes sense. But otherwise, I think that skill's kind of garbage. I trade Strength of Honor with 33% damage for Penetrating Shot and 12 in Beast Mastery and Marksmanship. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's typically three attributes, right? But you didn't do any wilderness survival, right? Because you didn't need troll on joint or running. So you were able to transfer those two attribute points to make uh, marksman go from 10 to uh, 12. Uh, oh, I've always done a 12, 10, 8 split. 12 and beast. Uh, 8 and Marksman, 10 in Wilderness Survival. Actually, you see this bow that I have here on my screen? That's from doing a Ring of Fire, because I had to uh, have a Rec 8 bow, because <laughs> um, how I wanted to split my attributes, which I thought was pretty funny. Let's go get a Rec 8 bow. 12, 12, 3. Yeah, there's just 3 left over if you do two 12s. Attack speed increased pet skill frequency as well. I agree, Zebby. The problem is you don't typically have enough energy to spam both those skills, even at normal. I mean, you have just enough at normal. Um, maybe you could kill something a little quicker with the 33% increase. That's possible, because you could fit more skills in there quicker. Um, it's possible, yeah. Helped you up to Healing Spring? Maybe maybe that's why I struggle with Healing Spring, because I don't bring Call of Haste. Yeah, no, you you might be right. Yeah, I respect Baka. My name's based on an anime, so. Can't really say shit. No, you make a fair point. Is there a way to make it so your pet will definitely hit with its next attack? Is there a skill? I don't know anything about pet skills except the two that you've basically put in the build. If there's one that would make it so that he doesn't miss, it could be useful against all rangers in general in that mission. Unblockable. But is he blocking or is whirling defense a chance to block? Yeah, yeah, it is, right? Miss would be blind. Or some sort of hex. 
So that could be useful. In general, I think. How long does the pet just need armor and auto block is useful? Uh, well, it's useful against in rangers in general, but um, pet could use armor. I, I don't see why your pet couldn't use armor. I saw you playing the other day. You were doing that thing where you activate uh, Marksman's Signet or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, the deck skill that we get with no attributes into it and expertise. Gives you five energy when you hit and 10 when you miss. Having to use that, hit something, heal your pet, hit something, heal your pet, hit something, heal your pet. I mean, that kind of sucks. It does engage faster, I agree. I don't know if that's necessary. I just sit on the edge of something and tell my pet to just attack and then it just runs in. Like if I were right here and I told my pet to attack this target, it would run in. I mean, who cares how quick it engages unless I'm missing something. Uh, I use distracting shot. I use an interrupt. Oh, you did have that? Well, yeah, but you also got rid of Troll Engine and, and uh, Storm Chaser. Well, in this case, you could do the. Uh, well, I don't know in your build. It's it's hard to say. If you look at the build and you don't think that the cry is worth it to handle the ranger on those cases, I mean, you killed the ranger anyway, so maybe it's not worth it. I don't know how much you struggled with the ranger. Maybe it was easy. Let's go into my high energy set real quick. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Nice. Hey, two kills! Two kills! You all see that? Right? Hey! Something's up. Why are we getting two kills? What's going on here? Huh. That's crazy. That is crazy. So that was very nice. I could stop my recording now. GG. That's uh, Mesmer done.